Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a review and demo on this portable ramp set from Harbor Freight. This is the plastic three and a quarter ton rated set. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk a little bit about the features of that, make some comparisons to the metal set that they also sell, and then go ahead and use them. All right, so before we go ahead and pull one out of the box, let's talk a little bit about a couple of the specs. Um, so each of these ramps is rated for 3,250 pounds or 6,500 pounds for a pair. If you're looking for these on Harbor Freight's website, you're actually gonna see this rated as 13,000 pounds. And that 13,000 pounds is a little bit misleading. Um, it's actually for gross vehicle weight rating, which really isn't a concern when you're gonna use a set of ramps like this. What you really should be paying attention to is the rated capacity per ramp or for the pair, um, which is half of the gross vehicle weight rating. I'm really not sure what Harbor Freight's reasoning is for putting the 13,000 pound number on the website, um, but as you can see right on the box here is a three and a quarter ton rating or the 6,500 pounds that I mentioned earlier. And that's the number that we were really concerned with. All right, so a couple of other specs. Um, you get a six inch max lift height and it's, it has a 17 degree ramp angle, which should work for most vehicles. All right, so before I go ahead and pull one of these out of the box to take a look at it, um, just draw a couple little comparisons to, to the uh, steel ramps that Harbor Freight sells. Um, those are rated at a uh, 2,000 pound capacity per ramp or 4,000 pound for the pair. Um, so that's considerably less than this set here. Um, but you do get two inches of additional lift height so at eight inches instead of six. So if that additional two inches of lift height is important to you and you can handle um, a little bit less capacity, um, you may want to opt for the steel set of ramps. As far as price, um, this plastic set is $54.99 currently, um, and the steel set is $69.99, so these ones are actually a little bit cheaper. And as always, I've mentioned in many of my Harbor Freight review videos that um, typically there's coupons out there at Harbor Freight, and you can usually get a discount in addition to those prices. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of the features. Um, as is typical with most ramps, um, you do have a little bit of a crest here as you get onto the flat area of the ramp, um, and then there's a stop up at the front here. Um, there's also these traction grooves that are in the plastic. Um, those look like they would perform pretty well. Um, it's a little different than what you usually see in the stamped steel ones. You usually have um, like holes pressed into the steel. Um, that usually works well too. On the other side here, there are these rubber integrated feet. You can see there's three here. There's three at the back end as well. Um, and those are designed to help this from uh, skidding on the ground. So whenever you go to drive up on the ramp, that doesn't actually push forward or move around very much. So um, those are there for that. And while we have this flipped over, you can also see some of the structure underneath here um, that adds the rigidity to the plastic ramp. I know some people might be a little bit wary of a, of a plastic ramp, um, but these seem to be pretty well built. Personally, I actually like this design a little bit better than the steel ramps. Um, the steel ramps themselves don't have any support in this area here. Um, you're really relying on the, um, the stamped steel structure to actually give you all the rigidity to the ramp. And that difference is also reflected in the ratings of these ramps. As you'll recall that this ramp here has a 1,250 pound additional capacity over the steel ramp. All right, a couple other comparisons to the steel versus the plastic. Um, obviously this plastic ramp's not gonna rust um, where the steel ramps over time probably will. However, I think the steel ramps probably hold up better for maybe in a case where you drop it. Um, I could see, you know, if you weren't too careful when you drop one of these, you might actually get a crack in it, um, where the steel ones are probably going to hold up pretty well to that. All right, I think we're ready to go ahead and try them out. All right, as you can see, the truck went right up on there. Um, they're working pretty well. It looks like they also stayed in place pretty well too. Um, I did notice when I looked at the uh, previous footage that the back of the ramp on the side here seemed like it jumped a little bit whenever the tire hit the stop in the front. And I, honestly, I'd consider it to be my fault. I probably um, hit that a little bit too fast. But overall, they seem to perform pretty well. All right, everybody, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.